Have you heard about the new Korean military law and how it affects male idols? As many of you know, South Korea still has a mandatory military service for all men in the country. Despite it being a controversial topic, male idols are no exception and have to enlist in the military at a certain age. The reason why so many people find this topic of idols and enlisting controversial is that they keep promoting South Korea overseas and it helps spread the holy wave across the globe. And on the other hand, sportsmen and people who do something for the culture can be excluded from their mandatory military service. But this does not include artists in the pop field. You might be asking, but aren't the K-pop idols actually the core of the current culture in South Korea? Well, that's how we get into the messy stuff. Some citizens demand the country to make an exception and do not push male idols into enlisting since they do a good job for the country by showing its culture and tradition. To people worldwide, the topic of enlisting got especially tricky with BTS since they are the biggest K-pop K-pop band, their impact is undeniable thanks to them, tourism and Korean culture got so popular that many people started to be extremely interested in South Korea. According to Stasta, in 2018, BTS brought $4.65 billion to the country's economy that made up exactly 0.3% of the overall gap and as expected, this number has kept rising, so you can only imagine how much they bring to the country's economy right now. Although there are many fans who find it absolutely outrageous for them to enlist since they do so much for the country already, the members themselves reveal that they will indeed enlist since they consider it their duty. However, BTS isn't the only group struggling with this issue. Many K-pop bands have foreign members who are of Korean descent but were born in the U.S. or lived overseas for a very long time. And that's where it gets kind of messy. So the new law says that if you're Korean and have lived in Korea for the past three years, plus if you have a Korean passport, you have to enlist in the military. That means many male idols who were raised in the U.S. will have to serve the mandatory military service in South Korea. I personally don't know how to feel about this since the military is still a big part of Korea's life. Some idols don't have the Korean passport. So, for example, NCT Johnny and Mark or Jacob and Kevin from The Boys, they will be excluded from serving the military. If an idol possesses a dual citizenship and turns 18 he has to make a choice if he wants to keep the dual citizenship or not if male idols decide to keep it they will have to enlist idols like vernon of 17 or bang chang and felix from stray kids have given up their dual citizenship and are registered only as australians this topic is extremely tricky but feel free to express your own opinions in the comments down below